Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to easily create a road system for your terrain using Road Architect in Unity. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I start, if you are interested in more advanced graphics related tutorial about Unity, then please give a visit to my Patreon page, link is given in the description. Alright, let's continue. First of all, we need to download and install the Road Architect package in Unity. Road Architect package is a free tool provided by MicroGST. You can find a link in the description to download this package. However, for this tutorial, I'm gonna use this version of Road Architect which is provided by Fist Heroes. And that is because this version is more updated and has less errors. So to download the package, simply click on this drop down arrow and click on download zip file. Once the zip file is downloaded, simply right click and choose extract here then change the name of the folder to road architect so simply remove the master after the road architect okay and make sure the name of the folder is road architect not the road architect master otherwise you will have some issues then simply right click and copy the folder go to unity and in the asset folder paste your road architect folder here and this will automatically install Road Architect in your project. You can also verify that by going Windows and go to Road Architect and you can see the Road Architect options here. Next, I'm quickly gonna create a terrain for our demo. So I right click, go to 3D object and choose terrain. Then to add a texture, click on the paint terrain section. Go to layers and click on add layer. So I'm going to choose a layer, this one, okay. Let's also add some details on our terrain. So for that, I go to stem terrain section and choose any brush and simply click to sculpt the terrain. Okay, and our demo terrain is prepared. Now let's see how we can add road on this terrain system. Creating roads using Road Architect is really very easy. To add roads, first go to Windows, Road Architect and choose Create Road System. And this will create this road system in your scene hierarchy. Next to add road on the terrain, make sure your road object is selected. Then go into the top view and press and hold shift on the keyboard and simply click to add this road nodes if you accidentally exit out of this mode then again select your road game object and while holding the shift key simply click to keep making this road nodes and as you can see our basic road system is ready now to explain this road system if I go to the road game object, here you can see this is our main spline for the road and these are the nodes that we have created for this road system. Basically these nodes are used to control and design our road system. So if I select the first node and here you can see you can move this node to left and right and our road system will automatically update it. You can also move this up and down. Once you created your main spline, you can again adjust your path by moving these road nodes. Now let's take a look at some of the common parameters of this road system. So I simply select my road and the first option is to update road. So basically whenever you make any change in the parameters, you simply click on update road and the changes will be reflected on your road. Road Architect also provide an online and offline manual which I highly recommend you to check out if you're using this road system for your project. Next, you can turn on and off gizmos and also change their color. Here it says that you can use control and click to add node, but for me sometimes it doesn't work, so I use shift key. By the way, you can also use shift key to insert an in-between nodes. For example, if I click here, now we have added a node between these two nodes. The next option to modify your road, so if I zoom in here, 
now you can change your lane from 2 to 4 or maybe 6 for now let's choose 4 lane you can also hide the shoulder part so simply uncheck this option and click on update road and you see this part is now gone you can also control the width and the definition of this road by adjusting these parameters you can also choose different kinds of default materials that comes with this package such as dirt brick or cobblestone you can also use your own material uh, you go to this material section select this material and here you can change your material such as diffuse texture to apply a different texture on the road okay basically most of these parameters are pretty much self-explanatory I suggest you to try these parameters on your own and see how they affect this road system you can also create multiple road under this road system so let's say we want to create another road so I select this main road architect system and click on add road and now press control and as you can see it doesn't work so I'm using shift and click to add roads okay as you can see now we have two roads under this road architect system now let's see how we can add more details like railing and road light and other stuff to this road system so for that first I zoom in here then select this node and click on open wizard and here you can choose different kinds of railing and different kinds of age objects such as barrel and this warning sign or you can choose this kind of lighting system so let's say we want to add this railing to our road so simply click on this railing and here you can see the railing is added in the center of our road one thing you will notice that this railing object is only added between these two nodes not for the whole road so let me quickly explain you how this node system actually work basically this complete road is divided into different part and those parts are controlled by this node what I mean by that this node is responsible for the design of this part of the road and this node for this part and so on and so forth so let's say I want a different kind of railing for this part so I simply select this node click on open wizard and now I can choose a different kind of railing such as this one and here you can see now we have a different kind of railing for this part to delete any detail object simply select the node and click on this cross icon and the detail is now gone basically any kind of detail you will add for this node will be added under this node next we definitely don't want this railing in the center of the road so to adjust the position on the design of this railing simply select the node and click on this arrow and here we have a lot of parameters to modify the shape and the design of this railing so let's say I want to move this railing to the left side so go to the horizontal offset option and move it to the negative left 10 meters okay next we want one more railing to the right side of the road so simply click on this copy icon and we now we have another railing object next go to its parameters and in the horizontal offset option move it to the right edge of the road you can also add different kinds of object at the start and the end of the railing so simply go to these parameters and in the start and end object you can choose different options but for some reason it is not working so to simply remove this object I select none you can also save this railing design as a preset to add railing to the complete road so for example I select the node and I click on the save icon and I call this railing left and save 
and save this one as a railing right. Now to add railing to the next node, simply select the next node. Click on open wizard and here you can see these are the preset we saved. So select left and this will add railing to the left and add to the right. Okay. And now you can repeat the same process for other node to add railing to the complete road. Okay, now we have added railing to the complete road. Next, I want to show you how this road system work with terrain objects like trees and grass. So let's quickly add some trees on our terrain. So again, I select my terrain, go to the paint tree section, click on edit tree and choose a tree. Okay, add and simply click on mass place and place trees. Now as you can see some trees are placed in the center of the road. So to simply fix this problem, select the main road system and click on update all roads. And as you can see these trees are removed. And the same thing apply to the grass as well. So let's quickly add some grass. So I go to terrain and go to the detail section. Click on edit details and add grass texture. And I select this grass. Okay. Click on add. And let's place some grass. Okay, so now again to remove the grass from the road, select the main road system and click on update all roads. And voila, the grass is now removed from the road. I also want to add some ambient lighting to the scene. So again, I go to the lighting setting, click on new lighting setting, uncheck baked lighting option and simply click on generate lighting. And this will generate a basic ambient lighting. You can also adjust the road material if it is looking too shiny. So simply reduce the smoothness. You can also add multiple detail to a single node. So for example, let's say we want to add some road lights. So I again select the node. Click on open wizard and go to the other groups and choose this fancy railing with lights. And here you can see we have road lights along with a new railing. Removing this node is also very easy. Simply select the node and click on this cross icon. And now we are back to where we started. It is time to test our road system. I have imported this camera and vehicle from Unity's vehicle tool package. A link is given in the description to download this package. And let's try how this works. And as you can see, our road system is working perfectly fine. The collider on the railings are also working. Once you have finished setting up this road system, then you can use a smooth brush to fix these hard edges of this terrain. So simply select the terrain and choose the smooth height tool and simply smooth the details like this. So now it's looking perfectly fine. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, you can ask me in the comment section or join my discord server. And before I wrap up, Huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and a special thanks to Hannah Sinconan, Dimedu, Alexander, Boro777, Brendan Mannion, Daniel, Florian Adrian, Francois Lobe Huden, Phoebe Liu, JB, John Marks, Joseph Mar Elvis, Joseph Lavib, Long Lee, Silas Renagal, and Underwater Sun. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.